Welcome to Freema. number four but first a word from our principal well first of all good morning pathfinders i'm your proud principal principal esquivel if i want to wish all of you a wonderful thanksgiving break please be safe we do have next week off enjoy your time with your family your loved ones but remember that we're still dealing with the effects of this great pandemic the COVID. remember to be safe social distance meet in small groups and if you have not taken the vaccine, please do so. You have a whole week off to enjoy your Thanksgiving break. Remember that the district is mandating for all students to return in person January 10th. They must take their COVID vaccine vaccination. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Vermont team number four. My name is Joshua. Do I have to say that every time? It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious you're Joshua? No, it's pretty obvious that I'm the best host for this show. Minus 30 for thinking you're all that in a bag of potato chips. Okay, Boomer. Anyways, let's get the show started. We're going, we're going on Thanksgiving break this week. On behalf of the media team, we want to wish you and your loved ones a happy Thanksgiving. So what are you thankful for this year? We sent the polls and fun facts department to find out. Let's check it out. Welcome to Fremontian number four. Hey, did you know that the first Thanksgiving was celebrated in 1621 and that's the three days? In light of our upcoming Thanksgiving break, we are curious to find out what students are going to be up to and what they are thankful for. We're going to go around asking students what they're thankful for and what are they going to be doing for Thanksgiving. Today I'm here with Joshua. All right, Joshua, what will you be doing this Thanksgiving? Uh, I'll probably be uh, probably in West Hollywood this, this year uh, with my family, so it makes sense just to spend time with our family since we're all sort of vaccinated, I guess, if you could say that. Uh, I'm probably going to be shopping with my family. Chilling. Uh, Black Friday shopping. I'm going to go Black Friday shopping. What are you thankful for? Uh, good health and just another year of life in general and being able to come back to school and being able to just be a bit more free, you know, and available. All right, thank you, Joshua. I'm thankful for my health and my family. You? Thank you. Uh, my parents and friends. My family. You want to learn how to become more strategic? This week, we sent the clubs and events team to check out our very own chess club. This is why I'm always 10 steps ahead, and that's a checkmate. That's not how it works! Mister, why you guys gotta kill my jokes? That's my job. Clubs! Hello, and welcome to Fremont Team 4. I got ready for winter because we have a winter formal. The tickets are free for the people who are vaccinated. This event is happening on December 4th, a Saturday. Do you guys know we have a chess club? If not, stick around to find out more about it. Okay. Hello, I'm Mr. Graney. This is the Fremont Chess and Game Club. Welcome. So let's start off. How can, how can someone join the club? All you have to do is just show up every day at lunch and you can play whatever games we have. Chess, checkers, Jenga, Otrio, uh, all kinds of games. When is the club starting? It, every day at lunchtime. Now, if you're talking about its origin, that was some years ago when some students discovered I have a variety of chess and checker sets and just started showing up at lunch to play. Where are the meetings held at? Right here in room 102, every day at lunchtime. Are there any events being planned for the club? At this time, no. More, more for everybody who wants to come in, enjoy playing against their friends, different games. What kind of games do you, do you guys play here? We have chess, we have checkers, we have Jenga, we have Otrio, we have uh, Connect Four, we have uh, Corridor, we have all kinds of multitudinous games. Thank you for your time. All right. That's it for closing events. Bye. 
Class of 2022, we have some news for you. As you know, college applications are due November 30th. So our senior team interviewed our college counselor, Mr. Martinez, at the College Center. Let's get the inside scoop. So today we paid the College Center a visit and we asked our counselor, Mr. Martinez, a couple questions. Who are the people helping seniors with college applications? The people helping the seniors here at Fremont are TRIO, Boys and Girls Club, and EAOP UCLA. What are some colleges or universities that seniors should consider applying to? Seniors should consider all colleges according to their GPA and what they're eligible for. Some of the universities are, we have private, out of state, Cal State, and junior colleges. When are college applications going to be submitted? College applications have different deadlines. Private, out of states have different deadlines, so please go on their website to make sure you know when the deadline is due. For UC applications, those are due November 30th, so that's coming up. And for Cal States, most of them are due November 30th. However, some Cal States have extended their deadlines, so please come and visit us to get that information if the Cal State that, that you are applying to has extended their deadline to December 15th. Junior applications, those are now starting to open, so you can go ahead and look into those and see if, uh, if those are ready to take on your application for fall 2022. When are you available to help students? The College Center is open Monday through Fridays. There's different partners here at Fremont helping students with college applications. I myself, I'm available Monday through Friday from 8 to 3. Boys and Girls Club, same, and EAOP is here according to different days, so please check in with your UCLA rep to make sure that they're here. Where is the College Center located for those who don't know? For those that don't know, the College Center is located next to the library, uh, also known as the, like, the old, the new cafeteria, so please come and visit us during lunch, after school on Tuesdays, or please email us. My email address is cemartinez at csudh.edu. Why should students attend college? Students should attend college for various reasons. It's a tool that once you have, no one can take away from you. So please, please remember that. I know I have students that have asked me before, why should I attend college? Why is it so important? And I answer that with that question. It's something that once you have a degree, once you obtain a degree, that's something that no one can take away from you. So please, please reconsider. If you haven't already, please reconsider going to college. It is a tradition in our nation to participate in our biggest consumer event known as Black Friday. This year, the yearbook team is bringing you the steals and deals. On Black Friday, November 26th, you can purchase the Fremont yearbook for 65 bucks. You can order online at yearbookforever.com. Look for the link in the description so you don't miss out on this great deal. You already know what time it is. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. We sent the sports team to, to the volleyball courts for an exclusive interview with Coach Edwards, who also teaches physics. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to the Fremont team. I'm Joshua, and this week we had an exclusive interview with Mr. Edwards, who is the coach for the girls and boys volleyball team. All right, welcome back. So today we have the honor of interviewing Mr. Edwards. And Mr. Edwards, what is your role here at Fremont? Uh, I'm both a physics teacher. This is my physics classroom behind me. Um, I'm also the coach of the volleyball team, uh, along with Coach uh, Bonilla. All right, that's amazing. So first question would be, what was your uh, experience this year coaching your, the volleyball team for your first year here at Fremont? Yeah, it was really awesome that I got this opportunity to do this. I didn't think that I was going to get to coach this first year. Mm -hmm. um, I had, you know, with the first, uh, second year teaching, it's a lot of uh, stress, mm -hmm. a lot of different things I got to deal with all at once. Um, but luckily, it kind of worked out with my schedule that I was able to coach as well. And I've been like, I'm just like so thankful that that happened. All right, so second question, Mr. Edwards. Uh, what were some strategies that you used to motivate your team? Yeah, for me, um, in terms of motivation, I think the most important thing for players and students to understand is that we have to be able to be self-motivated, and I try to encourage that as much as I can on the team. Um, I just try to focus on how volleyball skills can be used throughout our lives and how it's important. Um, like, for example, to have like healthy living, um, being like physically fit, that's like a good reason to play sports and be involved and whatnot. Um, but also just like the intellectual side, where you should position yourself on the court. Um, that kind of thing is helpful for strategic thinking that's also useful in life as well. Um, so that's kind of my main goal in terms of motivation. I want my... To uh, third question, um, what are things that you want to improve on or, or get better for, for next season? Yeah, fun, but still be serious while yeah, we're definitely playing. definitely having a balance. So that's something that I need to work on as a coach. Um, in terms of what players, I want players to work on, I want um, to encourage like more jumping. I want everybody to get... Um, up higher on their jumps so we can reach over the net. The higher you get over the net in volleyball, 
the easier it is to smack it down on their side of the court. Um, so improving jump height is like a big thing for uh, me. Getting... Final question, mister. Uh, what kind of performance do you expect to see from the boys volleyball team this season? Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't met all the boys volleyball players quite yet. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the ones who are returning from previous years I haven't met before, so I'm, I, I'm excited to see how they play. The uh -huh. ones I have met, the ones I have seen play, I'm super, super excited about our upcoming season because I think we can go really, really far. Uh -huh. um, I, I'm really hoping we win league and then after league I, I hope we can do pretty well in playoffs as well. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. Um, trying to get in a lot of different tournaments and whatnot. Um, super, super excited for this upcoming season. Definitely. You want to check out a show with no strings attached? Then the Variety team has you covered with a show about the story of Thanksgiving. Every year, on the fourth Thursday of November, it's taught that after a harsh winter, the Pilgrims, with the help of a native named Squanto, reap a successful harvest and celebrate it by inviting local Indians for a friendly feast. These Pilgrims didn't actually consider themselves Pilgrims, but were actually known as an English sect of Puritans. Long before Europeans arrived to Cape Cod, the area was inhabited by mainly Native Americans. But a few years before the Mayflower landed, much of the Native population had been wiped out from an epidemic of disease brought by British explorers or were kidnapped into the European slave trade. Upon arriving, the Puritans were very unprepared for the winter, and in a state of desperation, they would rob from Native Americans graves and storehouses. But even then, half of the colony died within the first year. One day, Somerset, a leader of the Abenaki people, and Tisquantum, better known as Tisquanto, visited the settlers. Squanto helped the settlers grow corn and use fish to fertilize their fields. And in March of 1621, a formal agreement was made between settlers and the native people to protect each other from tribes. The Feast of 1621, which we think of as the first Thanksgiving, was not an actual dinner, but rather a celebration of a successful harvest after a harsh winter. The feast was not one of giving thanks and respect, but rather one of distress and aggressive action towards one another. This week's Fremontian Spotlight highlights Mr. Lopez, the girls' soccer team, and Mr. Reyes' former history teacher. Oh man, those were the good days. What are you trying to imply? That these days aren't good enough? Uh, roll the tape! No, answer my question. <laughs> my name is Walter Lopez and I'm a PE teacher and a soccer coach, athletic director here at Fremont High School. I did my student teaching at Santa Ana High School in Orange and I also worked at Orange Unified as a substitute many years ago. Uh, yes, I used to be a, a history teacher and I taught Mr. Reyes and also Ms. Barajas, the Spanish teacher. I used to be her teacher, I mean the Spanish teacher now. I used to be her teacher also. I've been at this school since 1993, 94. Uh, I have a credential in social studies, so I taught history here for like 10, 12 years. This is uh, my 24th year coaching the girls' soccer team. Yes, I enjoy it very much. I'm really proud of the girls, and I, uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. Soccer has been my favorite sport since I was a kid. I used to play soccer since, as long as I can remember. I played soccer uh, outside when I was a kid. I played soccer in high school, and I played it for many years. Unfortunately, I'm older now and I can't play anymore, but I really enjoy it. I really love being a teacher, especially uh, working with the kids. Um, I don't really dislike many things, okay? This has been a dream of mine, having to work with kids and uh, working uh, with sports and staying after school and being active. Um, the kids really, really make it fun. This has been from Montana number four, season five. My name is Joshua. We hope you enjoy your entire week off because I know I will. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications about every time we post a new video. Remember, here at the Mont, we find a path or we make one. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'm out. Go, Go Panthers! Panthers! Welcome, Welcome to Fremont. To Fremont.